this video, I have purchased what I think is the world's cheapest C6 manual vet. So we're going to give you a little walk around of the car. Uh, I will reveal the price a little bit later. If you think that you have purchased a cheaper C C6 vet manual, uh, comment down below. Don't be commenting that your grandmother's sister-in-law's dog's uncle or whatever bought a Z06 manual for you know thousand dollars or whatever don't be coming at me with none of that crap this is a running and driving c6 manual vet so what did i pay for it well i paid five thousand dollars for this pile of c6 <laughs> uh so yeah let's uh take a little walk around here we go Oh, right off the bat, ugh, major weight reduction, even though it's the plastic stuff anyways. Anyway, got some cool wheels on it. Got some nittos out back. Um, keep going here. There is pretty much not a straight body panel on it. I mean, yeah. Uh, manual uh, I think it has let's see how many miles are on it uh, oh beast mode okay it's got 147 thousand miles so keep on going around here not too bad it's got Corsa exhaust. This side is uh, not good. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to open this door right now because the window will not roll up and down. The regulator shot. We've got some uh, contact right there. Yeah, she's super low. Anyways, not too bad. This is uh, this is aerodynamics right here. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that later. So yeah, five thousand dollar running and driving manual C6. Let's see the goods. So we got uh, long tubes down there, some aftermarket valve covers, uh, some stupid rubber hose kit that somebody did at some time. Uh, the ratchet strap, it is holding up the radiator because the radiator core support is completely blown off the car. The uh, brackets are split off from the frame. So I uh, ordered a lower core support and an upper core support. Um, yeah. So that's always fun. Uh, I don't see any frame damage, and I don't see any uh, front subframe damage as far as uh, the actual suspension cradle and stuff. It all looks pretty good. The impact, whenever it was, was done with the uh, radiator lower core support. So, everything else looks good. Um, let's see. Keep on going around here. All right, well, the sun is blinding, but. So, she runs, no check engine lights, charges, 40 pounds of oil pressure at idle. So, I would say I got a pretty good deal. So, there she is, boys and girls. $5,000 running and driving C6 manual vet. Comment down below what you think.
I really truly think I got the world's cheapest C6 vet. Let me know if you or your friends or family have purchased a cheaper one. Uh, got some Nittos. Nitto triple five G2s on the back. They're shot. They're cracked and dry rotted. Basically gonna be doing huge burnouts in them. So, why did I purchase this car? Hell, that right there, pretty much. No, uh, I think I'm going to uh, rip the body off of the car. Um, we will do a vet cart for a little bit. I know that's that's not very original or whatever. Oh my God, stop. Uh, yeah, I know that's not very original, but a vet cart will be fun to take the yellow belly and just screw around with, have some fun with, probably do a single turbo or something like that. But uh, eventually this car's drivetrain and suspension will be grafted underneath my 72 Chevelle. It's something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, something that uh, a couple of people have done, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try it myself. It is doable, not sure which way or how I'm going to go about that, but this video is just on the initial purchase of the car. The next one, probably uh, do the cradle and do the uh, or do the uh, radiator core support and a couple other things of the car, go drive it around, see how it really is, and then we'll uh, start tearing into it and having some fun with it. So. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment down below on a cheaper C6 manual running and driving vet if you have found one or know where one is. But uh, overall, pretty happy. I like these cars. I think they look killer too. All right. See you all in the next one. Bye.